Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Emilil. We're going to make a cinematic trailer. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you get the, all the latest videos. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Adobe After Effects CS6. I'm not going to use uh, the latest uh, CC 2018 or 19 uh, so that everyone can uh, use this tutorial uh, for their next project. So firstly, uh, to start, we'll uh, click on create a new composition. Uh, then select our preset so it will be uh, based on your project if your project is 2k select 2k if it is 4k select 4k so I'm going to uh, just select the standard 100 uh, 1080 and frame rate will be 29.97 and uh, my animation will be uh, 7 seconds for uh, this composition uh, if we want we can also increase it or decrease it so here is it and I will call it uh, title one so here is our title one composition uh, uh, we, we need to write something here to animate so uh, uh, we'll we'll use the text tool from here you can see the type tool here uh, you can use keyboard control T to open it so here is it and fantastic bits this is going to be our title and I'll create the title action save so that you can align it perfectly okay uh, it will be center align and uh, we need to check the uh, 3d option from here and make sure that this is center uh, sometimes it can be from uh, here so you need to move it to center okay so uh, we need to add a very good font in it so my favorite font website is tafon.com so we're going to tafon.com and uh, we'll check some of the font uh, so that we can get the best results so we will go to the base, basic category and serif section so we'll click on it then click on uh, uh, I would like to see 100 options per page I will type my text here so that I get the best idea and I'll go to more options I will only use the free forms 100% uh, it's up to you. you you can for example will hit submit so we we have so many options right now I think this one looks great okay so let's download it save link as then uh, select okay I'm going to save it to trailer animation I'll save it here it will download we'll go to the folder then unzip it uh, then install the font that's it we have the font so now we'll change it
Okay. Now we will animate this text. So here we have so many options. So right now we'll click on animate, then click on tracking. So what I want, I want to, uh, to make it look something like this. Okay. So it will animate from here. So click on the stopwatch here and I want this animation for one second. So click here and uh, make the value zero. Let's see how it looks like. Hit enter. Okay, I see. So it will look something like this. And he, in this keyframe, we'll select it and right click on it and go to keyframe assistant and we'll hit easy ease out so that it is uh, like uh, so that we have a smooth effect and also same but easy in, easy is in. Okay, there you go. Okay, now we'll go to the more options. Then we'll go to the animate. Then uh, we will uh, select the rotation of it. And uh, before we uh, enable our rotation, we we also need to uh, enable the enable par character 3D. So make sure you enable this option. Now we will have uh, three more option X, Y, Z. So what I want, I want the uh, each character letter of this uh, two word rotate in. So let's do it. So it well, it's right now is plus seventy one degree and it needs to be zero. Okay, so same thing. I right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, then easy is out, and also this one here right click on it easy is in okay let's see how it looks like looks nice okay so now we will add uh, textures uh, in this text so that it looks uh, more uh, like very good right now uh, the text uh, color is white so it's not actually giving us the feel of a fantasy film trailer so what we'll do uh, you need to download a texture from the internet or you can make your own so uh, you can google any texture metal texture so it, it will be up to you so I have downloaded two uh, images uh, for this example so I will select this one texture one uh, select it drag it and drop it here then uh, we'll 
we'll select the texture and drag and drop it here uh, why I'm doing it uh, if you notice my texture details is resolution is 1920 by 1080 so I, I don't need to uh, create it but if your image is too big so make sure you create another composition from here uh, right uh, make sure the width and height is the same uh, it, it will be uh, good for your animation and name it as texture uh, when you will have you know so many compositions so that it, it doesn't get lost so now we'll select the texture composition bring it down here okay so it, it will look something like this then we'll hit F4 button on our keyboard then go to track mat from none to alpha mat so it will look something like this now we'll go to effect then go to distort and CC blobby lies uh, now we will go to blobbiness and select uh, from blob layer to a fantastic beast this, this is our texture and we'll uh, make the softness uh, make it 9 and our cutway 3 okay there you go we are almost getting a feel of it. Uh, I think the uh, I think that uh, the the footage, the texture, is a bit dark. Uh, so we need to brighten it up. So it will be based on your texture. So make sure whatever the texture, if if the te your texture is uh, bright, um, then uh, make the color and the contrast a bit down. And if it is uh, dark like this one then uh, use the curves uh, here is the color curve correction option go to curves and increase it a bit RGB okay now we'll see how it looks like And we can also add more effects for example we can use we can use uh, more curves uh, add more effect on it so that it looks better okay I will also recommend you to uh, use new texture uh, experiment with it so that you get the best result so I'm going to use another texture uh, for an example so here is another texture okay we'll see how it looks like we'll select it then go to after effects And here is our texture comp. We'll just drag it and drop it here. Okay, and let's see how's the result. I think it looks nice. Uh, okay, we, we need to adjust some of the settings. Uh, we'll remove the curves. Just I think one curve is fine. Okay, so so right now we have a different kind of uh, feel to it. Uh, we can 
increase uh, scale the size uh, to scale any image on After Effects uh, just hit S on your keyboard so it will pop out something like this uh, so let's see so we have you know some kind of fill on it uh, and and you can also use uh, other type of textures uh, to do that you need to uh, you can uh, find anything on Google let's let's find something okay metal texture Uh, we'll go to uh, Unsplash because there are so many free images. Uh, so many examples here we need to find out the right image for it I, I'm, I'm showing you how I have you know uh, looked for my texture okay and this is how you should do it uh, you can go to other websites okay uh, we, we can use this image okay so click on it download you can use any other uh, website if you want Let's see how it looks like. Drag it, drop it here, then go to your texture and put it here. There you go. I think it's looking nice. Uh, if if you move it a bit, then we'll get this texture there. There you go. see it's looking nice so experiment with the texture this, this is what I can say <laughs> 